Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Papa TV Live. This is episode 10. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Festivus. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Festivus. Festivus? What is Festivus? Festivus for the rest of us. Uh, Oh. (laughs) Fred Cochran on the microphone next to me. I'm John Replogle. Brian Dye is next to me. And Mark Steinman's running the booth. We all got the holiday hats on. And we're here with some holiday-themed pinball for you tonight. Fred, take it away, buddy. Well, first, I want to thank Five Below for the cool Santa hats that we're all sporting tonight. And uh, we're going to have a pretty fun holiday time here on the mic. So James Emanuel is going to play taxi this morning, this evening, whatever it is. I'm still (laughs) learning what day it is. I've been working seven days a week. Um, But uh, taxi is a game from 1992. And um, it's a fun game, lots of flow to it. Um, maddening shots, and it's difficult to play. So, uh, James, you want to um, step up to the table? We'll yeah. get you started. Yeah. So, with Taxi, uh, multi ball is one of the easiest things actually to start on the right hand side where James was just pointing. Um, all you gotta do is lock a ball in there, and then I'll light the left ramp to shoot it around to unlock the ball, and then for each ramp you shoot, you get 300,000 points. That's called the freeway bonus, right, John? That's correct. Okay. So we're going to watch James here. He's going to plunge the ball. The one thing that I learned from watching Keith Owen was not to plunge for the 100,000, but try to get the passengers. 50. Oh, you're carrying the passengers. Yeah, carrying the passengers just to work towards the jackpot. Being on the night it is, what's the most important passenger? Um, I don't know. I guess it would be Santa Claus to go with our Christmas theme. So... James has uh, successfully locked the ball on the right-hand side, and he gets the plunge again. Let's see if he can get a 50. Nope, he got five. So the I'll plunge, get it. <laughs> yeah, the plunger is a little bit uh, a little bit tight on that. So I was playing it earlier, and it was a little bit tight. So uh, unfortunate drain down the middle. So John, what do you think about Taxi? Well, Taxi is a great game. It's uh, one of my favorites from the era. I nope, almost. I've, ne- I've never actually owned a taxi. It's one of the few System 11s I haven't gotten my hands on. I was going to say, you've pretty much owned uh, a lot of those games. I've seen uh, a few in your basement. Brian, are you a fan of taxi? I love taxi. It's a, uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's fun to get in the rhythm uh, of shooting the alternating between the ramps, the left and right ramp. Um, you know, rolling over those, uh, the switches in the end lanes will actually uh, advance that uh, green bar in the middle until the end. Uh, I think it's an airport ride. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, there to the end, and that's worth a pretty substantial amount of points if you can get it rolling. So, yeah, it, it's fun. It's fun to get in the groove for sure. So we got James in multi-ball right here. So what he was going to try to do was what he just did actually with two balls in play. Unfortunately, he drained it. <laughs> so to uh, relight the lock, I believe you have to jack uh, yep. pin bot on yep. the right side, right? Any passenger. Any passenger. Any bigger. passenger. Okay. I don't know too much about rules in a lot of these games, unfortunately. Any, any passenger that's lit will relight the lock. Very good. So you, right now I could collect Gorby or uh, Pinbot. Gorby's a tough shot. I was bricking it out. I was in the dead uh, during uh, before the broadcast and not doing what James just did there, which is That's shoot it cleanly. It's on cue. Easiest one. Very well done. Easiest one on the board. Yeah, James, nice, nice job. After embarrassing me on Walking Dead, you just <laughs> shot me up on that too. Great job. And he successfully locked the ball again. So, again, he's going to want to shoot the left ramp. Once he shoots the left ramp, it'll qualify multi-ball. And then he wants to re-like the, the ball on the right side and then shoot Dracula. And I believe that gives you 300000 I think, right? That's that's your express bonus. That's the express bonus. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. And then you had got to head to the airport. Yeah, there's not as much traffic on the airport for this one, but um, and almost up there. That's one of the things about this game that the right flipper is not dialed in. Making that shot as difficult and deadly as well. Let's see what he gets for his joyride. Will it be an extra ball? No. Ooh, that's a good score for joy, joyride. That is 200,000 on this game. is a pretty good bit of change on there. So. Now, what is the joyride, Fred? Uh, it's just a mystery reward. Okay. You can get, uh, f- I think it's five different awards. Uh, I think there's uh, extra ball, uh, spot passenger. Um, I think one of them is jackpot, I think, too, as well. Uh, is that correct? I'm... I do know that you can actually see it right. Be- you can't see it on our screen, but you can actually see it right below the uh, display. Mm-hmm. The options. What are those options, James? Ten thousand spot passenger mystery score extra ball and special. 
So jackpot wasn't even close on my call. So shows you how much I pay attention to the back blast. And I believe uh, it's kind of similar to uh, Whirlwind, where if you get all five joy rides, I, I believe you get a special uh, award for that. Uh, all the Is joy rides? No. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I did no. not know that. That I'm not sure. I, th I For some reason, I, I thought that's how that one worked. But I know in Whirlwind, if you get all the, the storm doors, it, it gives you... Yes. You know, a frenzy of some kind. Yes. So that is uh, a game of taxi. That's um, actually a little bit longer than normally I play it on. <laughs> uh, it usually just tells me to to press start again. So that's what James is going to do. Now, I, now the, the reason we were on late tonight, and I apologize for that, is because we I was outside chainsawing down something. So, <laughs> you know. We were getting the weeds cleaned up for the front again for, uh, for Papa in March, so... Uh, John was out there, uh, uh, much uh, to our chagrin with the chainsaw again. He shouldn't be doing that. He's going to look like Bruce Campbell soon if he keeps doing that. The one thing about um, Taxi that I find interesting is the jackpot, which is right now maxed out of, f well, actually it was only 3000 now, but it was at $4 million when before you were practicing. Yeah. If you get all five passengers. Oh, no, that's the meter bonus right now uh, that's displaying. Well, then it must still be at $4 million then. Yeah. If you get all four, uh, five passengers uh, lit and qualify them, it'll light the jackpot shot on the mm -hmm. Gorby shot for a short period of time, and you get the value that's in the display where it says jackpot. And right now it's $4 million. And I missed it four times. 75000 Man, it's so hard to control that spin out on this one. Yeah, the kick out is coming. It comes right down to the right flipper, which is nice, but it comes down pretty quickly, and it's hard to stop, so... Let's see if he gets this left ramp here. Nails there it. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. And the bell's disabled. Right now, the bell would be normally going crazy. But uh, the bell's been disabled. I'm um, just guessing for everybody else's sanity in the building. Let's see if he shoots the drag. Oh, so close. He can do it. Oh, bad outlane drain, unfortunately. Is there any activity, in the, any questions in the chat room, John, at all? Or? Nice live catch well, there. Not at the moment, but uh, I'm looking forward to your questions. Yeah, if anybody has any questions or comments or suggestions, please, you know, let us know in the chat room. We usually react to them pretty quickly. So he's back to single ball play here, it appears. And he just got bricked on the Gorby shot. But he got the joy rod, so let's see what he gets this time. Extra ball. All right. Yep. That's very pressure luckish. You remember that video at the game show? Oh yeah, there's the one guy who uh Learned a pattern and won like oh couple well, his, his couple name was Michael something. I remember reading about that. It was like a couple million dollars or something like that. They found him out. Oh, we have a couple questions. Uh, how do you light hold passenger? Uh, hold passenger is lit uh, by hitting completing either Lola uh, or Pinbot. It doesn't matter whether Lola or Pinbot are lit at the time. Um, completing either these three dot targets or these three will light the carry passengers uh, for a certain amount of time. And when you say when they're lit, that means to be picked up as passengers, correct? That's correct. Okay. So, so you don't have to, they don't have to be picked up as passengers. You can complete them at any time. Very nice, James. I didn't know that. And that's, that's uh, definitely lucrative once you start getting close to the, uh, you know, when you've got three or four on there. Uh, it's definitely important to try to pick up. We actually have an answer in the chat room from the guy who um, learned a pattern of press your luck. His name was uh, Michael Larson. Hundred and ten thousand dollars, two hundred thirty-seven and some change. Let me guess. That was uh, that was Stephen Bowden. Um, the recover. <laughs> to answer the question about my hand, the recovery is coming along slower than I would like, but it's still coming along well. Um, it the hand is hurting like hell right now, but it's not that bad overall. Yeah, John uh, doesn't have his cast on at this point, so that's definitely a, a step in the right direction. He got a couple nasty scars. He was uh, flexing the hand out when I saw him for the first time uh, tonight. But uh, it's good to to know you're on the road to recovery, John. These are not nasty scars. These are scars of battle. <laughs> well, you know, I think, you know, chicks dig scars, so, if you you know, it's a good story. So I'll ask you guys, when if uh, if you saw this in a tournament bank, uh, when you walk up to it, what's your first thought? What What's your thought process behind trying to tackle this thing? I just start with multi-ball because it's so simple. Um, you know, if you can dial into the, the plunging shot, you can get the passengers um, by doing it that way. I, I'd, I've watched Keith Elwin do it that way, which anybody who watches Keith play pretty much learns from watching him. 
Um, I usually try to go for the skill shot and the multi balls. Mm -hmm. But that's just me personally. Um, we got a question. Does Papa TV ever broadcast EM pinballs? And uh, uh, yes, we have. Uh, we've done Nippet. Uh, we've done. Uh, we've done several. Derby Day. Derby Day. Derby Day. Derby Day was a long, long broadcast featuring Future Glue. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we we would have done a uh, EM tonight, but I could not find an EM that had a Christmas or Santa Claus theme. The closest I think we could have gotten with with a winter theme would have been Snow Derby. That would have been appropriate. Ooh, I mean, yeah, that's a good theme for uh, winter, but I wanted to try to keep it closer to the the spirit of the holidays. Absolutely. I've never actually seen a Hanukkah pin. Okay, Todd <laughs> Seaver, you're in the chat room. I see you. So do you know of any EMs that have a Christmas theme, Todd? We will be awaiting your response. Oh, he'll probably chime in really quickly. John, Todd's very knowledgeable when it comes to games. It's amazing. All right, so uh, Jim is back into multiball here. Trying to get control. Uh, Sorry, Jim. That's all right. I jinxed <laughs> you there, man. <laughs> yeah, this this game yields a lot of really quick multi balls. Let's see what he's got going on here. So there, there's another strategy in in a match play situation I might go for with this um, with this uh, pin, which would be to to go for the million when lit. Um, if if you hit the airport enough times, it, it builds I think twenty thousand at a time and goes up to a hundred thousand. And at that time, it lights the million. Um, you know, especially in a situation where, it, I mean, here the jackpot's worth four million, so it's it's worth quite a bit more. But sometimes, you know, you'll walk up to a pin and, and the jackpot is much lower. It might only be 1.2 million. Um, and and that at that point, you know, if you can repeat those uh, airport shots, it's not a bad idea to, to do that, you know, five, ten times and then uh, hit the million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never, I, I never uh, was really comfortable, with, especially with the quick feeds, because you get those feeds out of the uh, out of the uh, habit trails pretty quickly. You can just do passovers, I guess, but they're always too fast. I like to shoot live foolishly. That's just how I play, but um, I'll have to think about doing that next time we play that. He's got two passengers right now, and he could work on Santa. There is Santa right there, so that's number three. Uh, I don't think he's lit, unfortunately. I think he was. Was he? Oh. No, that was just the joyride. Oh, okay. I see his head now. Okay. Oh, it did spot a passenger for me, though, on, as part of the... Very good. So let's see if uh, see if you can uh, maybe... Oh. Ooh. oh. Yeah. Nice try, that's James. A, that's a tight tilt. <laughs> I was going to say maybe you can zero in on trying to get the passengers, but... Uh, this is a Lola taxi to answer the chat room's questions. This is not a Maryland taxi. I was actually just getting ready to bring that up. That well, there are Brian, tell us about the differences. So there, there are uh, two versions of this game that were actually produced. There is a uh, version with Lola and a version that actually has Marilyn Monroe in place of Lola. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Marilyn ones are a little bit harder to come by. Okay, are we going to move down? They're a little bit harder, but it's oh, not sorry. by a big margin. Right, right. Are we going to move down, uh, Mark? Sorry, we are going to move. I believe we're going to go to South Park. Okay. Okay, so we're going to move it over to South Park. Uh, James is going to hand off the headphones and the microphone to Angela Dropka, who's going to tell us all the masterful things about South Park. She was warming up on this game earlier, and she was crushing it. Yeah, she was kicking. Absolutely crushing she, it. She was kicking her butts. Yeah, it's a fun game. South Park, I thought, um, for the content, was pretty funny. But uh, never a big fan of the show myself, personally. But I don't know about you, Brian. Uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I enjoy it a lot. I saw the movie, and I was actually uncomfortable watching it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it's hilarious. Uh, their, their humor is certainly not for everyone. Yeah. I think they've done uh, a lot of work into making more, uh, you know, in the, in the more recent episodes, uh, kind of tapping in on the pop culture things, you know, um, it's 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 just really funny. A lot of the stuff that they've mm. been doing lately, uh, they've come a long way. If you mm. if you ever watch the older episodes compared to the newer episodes, the old ones just oh my, it's so different. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really offended by it. I was just really surprised by it. Mm. But that was just me. So we got Daisy uh, getting herself uh, fixed up with the cable here. We're gonna get uh, started here in a second. There we go. 
we get a close up. There's Angela. Can you hear, can you? Hi, Angela. How are you this evening? Hi, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I oh, can hear go. you there loud and clear. Loud and clear. Perfect. All right. Let me just make sure there's uh, some credits in here. Yeah, I think you're good. Oh, there's several. There's already five in there. Hey, Fred. Yes, dear. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, Ange. Nothing but class. <laughs> that was very good. That was impressive. <laughs> All right, so hey, she's going to get fired up here. and Wow. Five, mil five million, and she got the ball saved, though. They kept it in place. So so in South Park, um, the little bit of stuff that I, that I know about the game is um, you hit the toilet to qualify multi-ball and then hit multi-ball. You hit it, I think it's five times on the toilet, and then you shoot the super jackpot on the right ramp, if I'm not mistaken. I have never played at South Park. So why, are you, why are you up here? You should be down there. You should be down there uh, playing a two-player game with I Angela. I should be playing a two-player game with Angela. But, hey, the you know the reason for these broadcasts is so we can all learn these things. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised, Brian. You've played most of the games down here. I thought uh, for sure you yeah, would have played I've, South Park. I've definitely spent a lot of time. This is w this one just never really, uh, for whatever reason, never really, you know. Appealed to you? Appealed to me, yeah. Well, that's okay. But now, uh, now that it's here, I, I might have to uh, try to figure it out. All right, so now she's in a mode where I believe that she gets starts with five million a shot, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and it progressively goes up a million a shot on the red lit arrows. And uh, this is something she was killing me on earlier. She had it up to about 11 million, I think it was. It is progressive. So there is another, there's six million. And Isaac Hayes is in the background cheering her on. You got and a good point made by somebody in the chat room here to you know, start uh, Kenny and Cartman done first, then multi ball, and you get double jackpots by accident. Okay, so you have to get Kenny and Cartman first, Angela, when you get multi or d before multi ball. Prior to multi ball. And then That's you get reading. double jackpots. CD's requested that someone get stand multi ball. We'll see if we uh, can even get them. So 19 million out of Chef. I think that was my total score for the game I played against her was like about 30 million. She embarrassed me. She had about 140. She got some skills there. And then um, each of the each of the shots has three shots to represent it to qualify the mode. Um, and you can see the the white lights in the middle of the play field for the ramp, and then um, the green lights on the other corresponding shots. And that will start the next modes. I'm not, again, I'm not as familiar with the modes, but I know how to start them. And I think she's clipped. So now she qualified multi ball. She's, she's going to want to hit, I guess it's stand with the hood. Okay, I don't know the characters very well, but um, shoot where the hood is, and you'll get your multi ball. And then she's going to do that right Kenny. now. Pretty easy. Was, it's Kenny. Kenny. Oh, that's right, they killed Kenny. I misunderstood what you said at first, and I was kind of at a loss. I wasn't really sure how to respond to your question. Well, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so. But um, each time she hits that, she's going to get a jackpot. And then, um, I, like I said, I think it's five times. And then you have to shoot the right ramp for a super jackpot, which is five million. Yeah, three more. So let's see if she can do it. Yeah, the sound calls in this game, I, I will say, are pretty funny. I think then you, you would enjoy the show then, I think. Maybe I'll have to you give should, it a second chance. You should give it a second chance. Evan Evan actually said in the chat room that I should give the movie a second chance, and perhaps I will. Thank you for inspiring me. That's what Papa TV is all about, Fred. Okay, so Angela blew the multi-ball and blew the mode, so uh, good going on that one, Angela. Let's see if you can start it over again. Excuse you, Fred. Yeah, the shoes are toilet. Here you go, I'm going to. That's pretty good. I like that imitation. That's uh, certainly impressive. Is this cabinet currently in family-friendly mode? Absolutely, yes. It, it, it beeps every five or six seconds, actually. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty quick. And Doug, Doug says, uh, Angela, in the chat room, that you're actually supposed to shoot the right ramp instead of draining, so um, from all his time at the target pool. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, he's, yeah I'm sure he's... So let's see, he's going to shoot Kenny again. And Kenny's dead. So she killed Kenny, and that was worth how much? You bastards. Seven million points for killing Kenny and getting uh, yelled at and screamed at on the uh, audio call. So so what do you like to do on this game, Ange, besides um, shoot the toilet? Well, I like to go for Kenny because he's poor. 
You have to talk like that in character for the rest of this game. You have to talk like that on every Papa TV broadcast from now on. Actually. My secret uh, talent. Merry Christmas, everyone. All right, we're going to fire it up again. Okay, so let's see if she can do it again. So let's see if she hit the skill shot. The skill shot is done by hitting not that. Uh, there's targets on the left-hand side underneath the uh, toilet that uh, gives you 5 million points for the multi or for the uh, skill shot. I don't know if there's anything in this game I'm missing. I'm really at a loss as far as knowing what else to do in this game. Okay, so it's not in family mode, it says here. Somebody in the chat room climbs in because he said bastard. I guess that would be a, a curse word. Noted. Going for Kenny again. Two more shots. Yeah, a lot of the shots in this game reward you with a pretty clean return. There's like not really many dangerous shots except for the toilet. What's that, Ange? I, I, lo I love when it just ricochets under that hole. That's, I love that lucky bounce. So here she goes. Go cows. Now the cows are the elementary school's mascots. Oh, okay. Cows. That was one I, I, was, I, I assumed it had something to do with the show. I wasn't quite sure what it was. Seems like a dangerous feat if you don't get the ball all the way up into that chef shot. So Comes back down the middle, foot rattles yeah. off the sides there. And it doesn't seem very forgiving. Yeah, Isaac Hayes is not impressed if you don't make it up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Isaac Hayes. He's the Duke. In, he's the Duke no in New pennies. York. That's he's his song. It's just him talking. No pennies, ladies. And, and you see John in the foreground here. He's dan actually in the background dancing, <laughs> which is pretty, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. He definitely, uh, since he can't play the music, he's still definitely dancing though. Look at him. There he goes. <laughs> and he's going along with the music. Good job, John. Okay, you gotta get two more shots. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's oh. bad. That, oh, that almost happened again. One more shot. That's one of the tough shots. It's kind of like the Simpsons shot, uh, yeah, where the targets are. Absolutely, yeah. Wow, an anal probe. I didn't know. I've never <laughs> knew about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. There's an anal probe ah, on the game. There's a replay. <laughs> Jeez, Carmen and the know. aviators. <laughs> Sir, can you step back, cat, please? <laughs> Sir, can you step back, cat? Highest score is 400 million, Ange. What do you think? <laughs> Multi ball shot is ready. Here we go. Yeah, I guess you do. No pressure. Come on, Ange. <laughs> so she fails to get the multi ball. Thank you. Again? Or are we moving on? We'll do one more. Right. They're going pretty quickly. All right, so let's see if we can uh, cash on a multi ball here. I think she'll do it. I have faith in her. Uh -huh. Hmm? No, maybe not. Misfounded. Question in the chat room, has South Park ever been used in any of the A, B, and C divisions? Uh, That's a good question. I'm not sure. Mark says they ha it has. Uh, when was the last time, Mark? C division a little while ago? Okay. So who designed this one? Anybody know who designed this, John? I do not know the answer to that. I mean, have you explained the Christmas significance of South Park yet? Uh, unfortunately, since I'm not familiar with the show, no, but I had something to do with, uh... It's, uh, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Poo, uh, is one of the featured characters on the show, and he, you can see him there on the play field right by the toilet donning his Santa hat. Okay. Um, much like, much like ours. Yes, and he literally, it's, I mean, that's his purpose is, you know, the character on the show, he's literally, uh, Poo. 
Okay, there's no, you know, there I, you go. There's, yeah, there's no other description unnecessary, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I like how South Park always keeps the uh, subject matter serious and respectful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I never let my daughter watch that show. She's staying away from that. Never let anybody touch my chocolate salty balls. I think it's why Angela drains. She gets distracted by that. Look at it. She got distracted again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I need to kick you in the nuts, Fred. <laughs> you got to have a long leg from up down there. Well, so that's... Uh, that, as they say, is South Park. Okay. Thank you, Angela. So, uh, Brian, are you going to, I guess Brian's going to go down and play some uh, Tommy. All right, we got uh, Replay FX up on the screen. Um, everybody knows what that's all about. Um, What's this, that about? That is about, uh, what, it's selling out in 12 hours? 10 hours, right? 10 hours? Well, the, yeah, the the, 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 the the festival obviously Pinburg was part of that, but uh, the video game and the console games and the ba the table games. Book your flights now. And hotel rooms as well. Hotels went pretty quickly. Pinburg sold out. Uh, the video game uh, tournament that's going to be coming up is going to be interesting. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that. And the consoles, uh, my God, what are we up to? About two thousand games already, Mark. Well over 2,000 games. Uh, talking with Mark yesterday, we're pretty close to 700 total games. We're going to have way more than that, so it's going to be bigger than we actually initially thought. I'm wondering if uh, do we have any teasers for uh, the audience tonight? Um, no, we're going to we're going to hold off on that until the new year, and uh, then we'll start giving you teasers every week on Papa TV Live. We'll uh, give you a little piece of the festival you didn't know about, and we'll give you some secret information. I like secret information. Secret information is the best. Yeah, I like it. All right, so uh, Brian Dye is going to play Tommy and um, gives a thumbs up. He's ready to go. And uh, the significance for Tommy for Christmas is there is a mode called Christmas. And that's about as far as I know. Is there any other significance, John? Um, that's as far as I know. But, I mean, look, it, it's hard to find a Christmas-themed pinball. I mean, <laughs> Christmas pins car... Far, few and far between. I know Todd said that there's a couple uh, wood rails, but correct. We don't have those. No, replay FX Doug is not sold out. You are correct, but the Pinberg portion of Replay FX is sold out, Doug. So thank you for correcting me. Joining us on the microphone yes, for the very yes. first time is uh, James Emanuel. Hi, everybody. Hey, James. Oh, and by the way, you can get on the wait list, too, for Pinburg as well. Don't forget about doing that. Are we good, guys? Can you hear me? I can, we can hear you. Oh, can you great. hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I'm sorry. Fantastic. The, hands of the Santa hat looks good on you, Brian. Good job. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. I'm trying. I'm going to fire it up here. Good job. I got to say, I'm feeling pretty festive in the Santa hat. Good. Yeah, like I said, man, I uh, wanted to make sure everybody was festive for the show, so we picked up a few Santa hats. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. We actually sold ones that had full facial beards that I was going to get, but we were sold out. I don't think I would need that. No, I was in a, I was looking for some white spray paint on the way down here. I could have painted it white on your face there. That would have been pretty cool. Too bad Scott Stevens could not have joined us tonight. Oh, that would have been great. He looks just like Santa. <laughs> that would have been perfect. So, Brian Dye, what are you going to shoot for on this game whenever you walk up to it? All right, so typically we'll start going for modes. Uh, the mode collect is here or here. Uh, on the left side, there's a scoop there. Uh, typically, the safe way to play that, uh, to, to start the modes, is to backhand that scoop there on the right side. Uh, if you can get it cradled up. Uh, hey, I started Christmas. I heard you. That was perfect. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I didn't do much with it either. That's so okay. You started it. That's all that matters. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, generally, if I can... You know, I would typically never shoot that scoop on the fly. You can see those two giant uh, rubber posts there that make that shot a lot more dangerous. Uh, so what I'll t try to do, like I said, is uh, get it cradled on the right side and try to get it over there. Give me one second. Yeah, I've never been very good at this game. This game usually ends up uh, screwing me in one way or the other. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. So now I'm in uh, Cousin Kevin. Where the ramp targets are worth uh, five million, and I'll shoot the ramps instead. It's very uh, much more like Metallica. 
Anytime I need uh, guitar picks, I'm shooting ramps like crazy. Let <laughs> that one go. That is very similar. All right, so uh, now you can see that the collect lights are off. And to relight, your uh, mode starts here. You can shoot either one of the spinners. You can see where it says, you know, light uh, there. And that lights the Union Jack uh, for your mode start. Um, now to start multi-ball, multi-ball is a pretty big part of this game. Uh, you'll see the lights here that spell Tommy. And by using this upper left flipper to shoot the mirror there, uh, we'll award you a letter in Tommy. And getting all the way to Tommy lowers the mirror. You can shoot the hole uh, to start your multi-ball. So generally what I'll try to do if I kind of, you know, if I'm in, in jail or something like that, I'll uh, shoot this little inner lane right here, which will uh, give a very nice feed to that upper left flipper. And uh, first I'll brick it about six or seven times, but I will get there eventually. It's okay. You're persistent. That's good. Persistence will pay off. There we go. That's there an interesting go. choice on Brian's part. Anytime when I happen to get a lucky in lane or something like that, I'll end up shooting for the mode start because it gives you a free light on it even if it's not lit. Oh. I think you also get credit. Uh, what? You also get credit uh, after each ball for a Tommy light. Uh, so at, uh, usually ball three, everybody gets a shot at the uh, multi-ball. And there's another place on the play field you can uh, qualify multi-ball. Where is that, Brian? Uh, they're in the left scoop where the same mode start is. Uh, it's not a mode start right now, it's though. It's not a mode start right now. It's a multi-ball oh, no, start. Uh, generally, I don't like shooting for that, especially on this particular example. There's another big fat post there that will send it to the right out lane. And this is wood on both sides, and it really absorbs a lot of the energy from that ball. So there's really not much you can do to save those. But I'll give it a shot here and see what I can do. I think you're going to nail it. No, maybe not. He Fred. nailed something there. Actually, I might try to carry, now that I have it, uh, I should have backhanded the collect scoop there and, and tried carrying a modem with a multi-ball, so I want to try to go for that. Greed is good. There you go. Oh. And that's what you get for being there greedy. Look at that's beautiful. That's what... Uh, Michael Douglas would not be proud of you. You pay, f you pay with your life. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good, good Gordon Gecko uh, reference. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to break that shot again. Oh, jeez. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun missing your shots in pinball. I think he's in a Noonan. All right, let's try that shot again. Let's see. I think you're going to make it. Miss found faith. Mm. That's okay. You're going to make it, though, Brian. You're going to get it right here. Too much pressure on the Christmas episode of Papa TV. There we go. I see that. Well, that's not the way to do it. That's okay. You started Christmas mode. That's I all that did. matters. I started Christmas mode. We'll try to fire it up again here and see what we what we can do. The butler did it. It was not the butler this time. That was Brian Dye. Just blame me for everything. That's fine. Wow. Yeah, I wish I could tell you more about the game, to be honest, but I really don't know this game all that well, and I really don't like even playing it. But that's just me. I, I think this is a wonderful game. It's just uh, it's brutally hard. Yeah, um, absolutely. There's a lot to it, too, you know, I mean. I don't find it that awfully complex. I mean, it's a basic mode collect game. Some of the modes themselves are a little bit not intuitive, I think. But yeah. they are they might not be intuitive, but they're well designed at the same time. It's sort of a, there's a lot of really cool features in a lot of the modes where you can, you know, collect a lot of hidden points. Nice that shop, you Brian. Have to get Thank you, Fred. That you don't see right away, which is funny for somebody who's a, you know, you know, if you're a blind pinball player, so. Okay, so Brian, what are we going to shoot for doing multi-ball, uh, sir? Ramps are jackpots, and the side ramp there is actually worth a double jackpot, and uh, the game goes crazy whenever you get those. It's a lot of fun. And, and importantly, also, you get it at a ball each time you get one of those. Well, See, I didn't, I didn't so know that. Going on. Oh, there's a super L one almost. Oh, I've never, I've never tried staging this before. Oh, it's possible. See if we can cash in. Oh! Hmm. Nice so try, though. Very nicely done. A nice little tip pass over and back to the L1 pose. Thank you, Keith. What is an L1 pose? That's oh. an L1 pose. You got two balls on one flipper and one on the other. Ugh. Why is ah! it? You why? sound like Mish there for a second. Ugh. Why is it called an L1 pose? Just because uh, Keith gets in that pose a lot? Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably what it is. It's just a normal thing, everyday thing for Keith. So Brian's going to continue trying to get that shot. Try doing a loop shot, Brian. Try doing a loop shot, Brian. Yep. Let's see if it happens here. 
Oh. See, you, should, you should never listen to me, Brian, ever. You should never listen to me. It's bad advice. Hey, Christmas it's Christmas. Again. It's Christmas again. Merry Christmas. So you were speaking about modes earlier. This is actually one of the few games that I even that I know that there's a mode that you can do absolutely nothing and get points for it. Oh, out of the video mode, absolutely. Yeah, the interesting thing about the video mode is you might get more points by doing nothing than if you actually try. Correct. Do you know the story behind that, John? Were you the one that told me about it? I... Not sure if I was or not. Somebody told me there was a story behind it that there was a programming thing where somebody just wanted to put the screws to somebody and they didn't finish the mode in the game. The actual targets just don't match up with the display. Ah, Mark says that the actual targets don't match up with the display, so. Okay. That would make a whole lot of sense. I was unaware of that. All right, let's see what we can do here. I missed the skill shot. Is this a new game? No. This is still ball. This is ball three. Yep, ball three. Oh, get up there. So you're just going to go for modes now here? I believe so. All right. Make sure you shoot them on the forehand every time. There you go. There's one. Read all about it. It's dribble. That was my rendition. That was good. That was good. I uh, try my best. Thank God I have auto-tune ready in the, my, in the booth. <laughs> no, I, 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 God. Wow. Couldn't carry a pitch in a bucket. Yeah, this so game is rough. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. Fired up one more time. See what we can do here. See if we can't get a hold of a multi-ball or something. All right, Christmas. So this game was built in 1941. That's impressive technology for the time. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said use a smart missile, but there is no smart missile on Tommy, unfortunately. Ah. Right. I'm kind of curious what the gentleman John poses also. The gentleman John pose. <laughs> this conversation is getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> no, that's probably the pose while you're walking away from a machine after you've let the oh. balls drain because <laughs> you bricked it. <laughs> All right, so Cousin Kevin again. So did the butler do it? Did the butler do it? I, don't know, I thought we'd already determined that he did not. Uh, Bowen says that they that in the video mode they actually do line up with the display, but players often screw it up and cost themselves more points. Sorry, Mark Bowen outvoted you. And uh, Mark says Bowen is wrong, and that's that's where we're going to leave that. Uh, that's not what I wanted. It's nothing like a little pinball drama. Pinball drama, that doesn't happen. What are we talking about? Uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I was in on the most. No, we're, we're definitely not going to spend the show talking about current pinball drama. It's probably a uh, brilliant idea, actually. Oh, I can't get that mode relit. Maybe I'm just lucky, but I would say that my experience in the, the world of pinball here has been a lack of drama. And... Like I said, maybe I'm just really, really lucky. James, you're a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <sighs> okay, well. James is very thankful for not being involved in any of the pinball drama. No, there's, there's just um, a difficulty in the greater world of pinball with uh, certain things going on. and We generally try to avoid those things. Otherwise, I get forwarded emails about this stuff for a while. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting good, uh, good emails for replay effect stuff. We get good stuff in the emails, not the bad stuff. I should probably try to play this game one-handed. I probably do much, much better. Well, this isn't Tron where you're going to put up 90 million. That was, uh, that was all luck. That was a game of a lifetime. Yeah, that'll never happen again. Yeah, that was luck. Just like what Mark put up. What was it? Uh, one, one billion on Shadow. In Virginia, I think oh, it was. Oh, yeah, it was some uh, exorbitant amount of points on the shadow one-handed. Mark you know? put up more one-handed than I did the entire tournament using both hands. <laughs> so, yeah, it was uh, that was pretty disgusting. So, happy holidays, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try to cash in. Here. Did you, do you go for the skill shot ever? Uh, if my Tommy mirror is down, no. Generally, I'll try to, but I, I'm honestly just that inaccurate that I can't hit it. Ugh. I can never hit the mirror. I just wait for the third ball, and then I get the charity multi-ball. That's how I get my multi-ball. The, the question in the chat was, what is the p 
Papa B Qualifying Bank going to be this year? And uh, it's going to be ten target pulls. <laughs> Just for Doug Polka, we got ten target pulls, and it's going to be that whole bank. Uh, Mark has just verified that it's going to be 10 target pulls. Um, we don't own 10 target pulls. We have some we're, to do. we're working on it. We are sourcing target pulls right now. If you have a target pull you'd like to sell to Papa for about 50 bucks, <laughs> I will come and pick it up for you. And the nice thing about it in the, in the Papa van, you could probably fit about four of them. Man. In the John truck, I could too. And I'll, I'll even find a way to pick it up one-handed and get it in the truck. <laughs> Ready, aim, fire, Doug is going to have the Powerball in it, by the way. So you heard it here first on Papa TV Live. B Division of Papa will consist of 10 target pulls. That's 1-0. And Doug Polka has to be scorekeeper over there for the whole weekend. That's going to be the caveat. Actually, I don't know why I just shot that. The last time I did it, spit it right down the middle. Oh, look at that, a gift. Yes, thank you guys so much for all the well wishes, and I hope my hand will be ready as well. There we go, $25 million. Now, Steve Bowden chiming in. He wants Paragon, Harlem Globetrotters, and Supersonic. Actually, uh, all those games were used in the most recent Classics tournaments. There, there is Also, remember, there is a new division this year. There is the Split Flipper division. Which I think Mark just made just for me, and I feel honored. <laughs> oh boy, ramps! I think John will. I think you somehow you'd be successful, John. Oh. Who's Sally Simpson? Sally Simpson. I'm not really sure. Oh. Is that a guy? OJ's sister. Oh jeez, Louise. Jeez, so <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sally Simpson. Ramps scored five million points. He's uh, putting a lot of lipstick on. I, I'm not really sure if I, you know. Are you getting clean? Oh, another gift. Another gift. It's Christmas. Oh, another gift. All right, so. Uh. So who's going to be your partner in Split Flipper, John? Um, going to be AJ? I don't know. Mark, would you be my Split Flipper partner? Who's the tournament director for that? No. Is it going to be you or is it going to be Doug? Oh. Hmm. So, uh. Oh, I'm the tournament director. <laughs> well. I didn't know I was the tournament director of the split flipper tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely think there's going to be some collusion there. Of all the reputable events that Papa runs, this will not be. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> Make rules as you go. So I've got this running with the silver ball millions. This uh, might be worth a decent uh, chunk of points here. Yeah, as we're sitting here making fun of everything, Brian dies over here, you know, putting well, up some points. Yeah, this is a solid game. <laughs> yes, actually, if I had to make a choice, I would actually have to choose my wife as my split flipper partner. I realize that now and <laughs> know the error of my ways. Fred, we were pretty successful down in uh, Chicago. Split Flipper Partners. But, uh, if you're looking for somebody, uh, I don't want to play with you again. John, I did tell you, though, at the beginning of that whole conversation that your wife was going to be your partner. I did warn you. Oh, did you? I did. That was a subliminal warning. <laughs> yeah. Don't try subliminal with me. <laughs> I need to be direct. Try blunt and direct. John. Like a, John? Like a, like a club or <laughs> I don't know. AJ is going to be your partner, John, and you're going to play 24. I'm sure you guys will be excited about that. Smash the mirror, Brian. You smash the mirror. I can't Jam do pots. it. Oh, it's a nice little multi-ball mode. That was a big old miss. That would be an interesting to have a little split flipper action going on. And Bowen says the silver ball, uh, the mode ends quickly, sadly. No, that's not what I wanted. A little bit of a flipper error there. We played some split flipper in the uh, Pittsburgh Pinball League versus uh, uh, Kid Force uh, Tournament uh, League Challenge, 
and it was a lot of fun. I thought, uh, I think that's a really unique format and, and requires a lot of interesting skills um, and, and communication. Like communication, right? <laughs> like, please don't, no, don't do that. No, <laughs> please, no, stop. And so you have to be kind to your partner. Oh, no. I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. Oh, he's playing blindly. Look at this. Beautiful. Now close your eyes while you're actually playing it, Brian. <laughs> it, flail away. It's for Christmas. There's not too many modes. He's got a few modes going there. He's uh, about five, six modes away. It's amazing how many points you can actually rack up in Tommy scoring. I wouldn't know. I never got to it, so. Ugh. Ugh. And How the did I lose the <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I had a, uh, oh, okay. That's, that's a little bit of Christmas magic yeah, right I there. Yeah, I thought I had my. Uh, that was pretty slick, though, Brian. You were like, oh, I got the ball. Where did it go? <laughs> I thought I had it cradled up. Well, it, the more you know. That was pretty awesome. Oh, God, just get control. And every time you hear a bell in Tommy, an angel gets its wings. Every time you hear a, a bell in Tommy, that means your mode is ending. Spinners drop bombs. I'm actually sort of surprised there was never a, a Christmas story pin. We're going to have to fix that, I think. We could have the leg topper. Oh, man. The lamp topper. Nope. Oh. So you said you wanted to get control, Brian. You just going to keep on moding now here? I want to try to. I'm starting to flirt with the. Uh, yeah, you're getting closer. The wizard mode here. I don't want to jinx myself, which I'm going to do here shortly. There's there's a request in the chat round chat room to explain Hob Owen. Hob Owen. Uh, I think that's game over. Maybe. Nope. Spit another one out. Cool. For me to explain, Hob Owen. Hob Owen. Hob Owen. It's Hob Owen. Uh, Definitely. Paging Greg. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what that even is. What is that, John? Let's see. Does anybody know what that is? Oh, really? Nobody really knows what that is. Only Bowen knows. Or Owen. <laughs> Owen. Oh, well, it's hashtag, but it's not really a hashtag. It's a pound sign. Oh, gosh. Okay, Brian, you got, uh, what, four modes? I have four modes, yeah. Do well, it. Well, three, and that'll light pinball wizard. Do Feel it. on the pressure. Okay, I'm not going to pressure you. There's no pressure. Oh, God. There's only two big oh fat rub two rubber posts around that shot. There you go. You're doing pretty good. Glorious. Do it because this is your last ball. Okay, <laughs> so this is what we were talking about, the video mode. So what do you want? What do you really want to do? Shoot the planes? The stuff on the ground? What do you want to do, Joan? I think you want you want to shoot the bombs. Okay. Bombs. The plane, the plane got there faster. What did you get? A million. You got a, you got a million. <laughs> so actually what you actually want to do is just pull it down to the bottom of the screen. And then you get, what is it, 7 million or 11 million? Or I don't know. But, yes, oh leaving it sit in the middle doesn't work. Oh, no. Come on. Sorry, guys. That was probably really loud. That's okay. Readjust here. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing on the line here. You're just, you know, three shots away from a wizard mode. Thanks, Fred. Thanks. Sure. I appreciate that, buddy. There's no triple snarf going on right now. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Oh. Cause you're a brick. Okay. Hey, it's Christmas mode. Christmas. It's almost like we planned this. I think so. And Did there's it. the 20 million bonus. Oh yeah. my! Oh, nice. that was a nice nudge. It was very nice. I think I read that those uh, those uh, spot targets on the right and left increase the all targets value for this Christmas mode. Is that correct? That sounds really impressive, James. <laughs> so we're we're gonna say that it is correct. <laughs> and uh, if we're wrong, well, there's a number of people in the chat room that will refute that. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they just like the way it sounded too. He's flirting with disaster here. Okay, quit breaking the shots, Brian. Oh, that was a nice little shake there. Nice, Brian. That was a nice save. Uh, I need to readjust here. It's Fix all, the Santa it's, hat. It's all in that. There you go. Uh, uh, now you're ready to go. <laughs> oh, my 
Atlanta. I thought you were going to shoot that on a backhand all day long you were talking about before the broadcast. I've been really unsuccessful with that. So he's uh, he, he's at the end, folks. And we, we'd like to thank you for tuning in tonight. And we're uh, going to have to cut the broadcast. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so. Come on, Brian. All right. While we're waiting for uh, Brian to get ready, I'd like to say it's been a very special year for us uh, working with Papa TV. We really appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in with us. We will be joining you guys again next year for some exciting tournaments, uh, Papa TV Live, uh, and uh, the Replay Effects Festival, which will be... Oh, dear. Oh, good grief. And more double danger saves. Great googly moogly, he made it. And that was save, a double danger save. That definitely, you can see why that's a practice that you should have in your arsenal. Anybody have any holiday wishes for anybody? You guys? Um, I wish, you know, family and, and wife uh, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and all that. Mark says, uh, Bah humbug. <laughs> that's okay, he's wearing the hat. Uh, I just want uh, my daughter to get everything she wants for uh, for Christmas and um, get a belly full of food. I can't believe that w the the broadcast actually did cut off in the middle of that. Oh, it did. Oh. <laughs> so uh, Brian uh, is in the wizard mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. It's a Festivus miracle, I'm telling you. 347 million points. See, those wizard modes can be awfully valuable. Well, that double danger slide save gave him 300 million points. Learn that from Josh Sharp. Thank you very much, Josh, wherever you are today. Well, that was Congo, and he moved it. Oh, that yeah, he moved it to another zip code. He moved it onto the interstate, that save he made. <laughs> Angela, do you have anything you'd like to get up here and say? Christmas tidings or anything like that? And Brian Dye, he's got an impressive one billion, twenty-two one million. One billion. Do, who did the artwork for the uh, for that that shot there, the blast off? You know. John Chad. John, Chad. John Chad. Yeah, I I absolutely love that artwork. It's sort of a cartoony uh, Christmas theme. Merry Christmas, everybody! Thanks for having me. Well, maybe it's not a Christmas theme. It might be just you know, like moon-like. Anyways. It's a video Angela. game on the moon. That's great. <laughs>